and you can see one by six from five upon six okay you have to subtract one upon six this one as you can see here you have to subtract one upon six from five upon six so here you have to uh, keep this thing in your mind that from five by six okay so five by six you will write in the beginning Sabse pehle hum five by six write karenge, and then we will subtract one by six from it okay so here what is the condition Yaha par main condition kya hai that denominators are same denominators jo hai, wo same hai. so this is quite easy hai na? Aap pehle se karte hoi aare, fraction mein bhi hum aise hi karte the. So denominators are same, they are common. So we can take common denominator as six because denominator same hai. So we have written here six and here we will do five minus one. We will subtract the numerators. So five minus one is four. So four by six and standard form. What is it? The standard form that will be, we know that two twos are four, two threes are six. So its final answer will be two by three. Okay, so first example I have taken like this so that I have to say that I first example I have to say that 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 I have to that I have to say 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 that I minus one upon six okay so here the question has been changed okay you have to subtract like five upon six from minus one upon six so how i will solve it minus one upon six minus sign because we are doing subtraction you can subtraction correct so five upon six here okay so again the condition is same denominators are equal they are same so six will be the common denominator and you can see numerator mein jo sign hai aapko usi ke according write kar dena hai minus 1 and minus 5 so minus 1 integers yaad kare hai integers ke according hum kaise solve karte hai minus 1 and minus 5 will be kyunki dono numbers jo hai wo negative hai so we will add the numbers but we will use negative sign so 5 plus 1 is negative 6 upon 6 so we know that that will be equals to minus one. Q because six ones are six, six ones are six. So negative one will be the answer. So this was the ye ek different example. Hai. Okay, here you can see the second number question. Here, what is the different in question number one and two? In question number one, the denominators were same, but here the denominators are not same. Okay, in second number question. So minus eight upon 15, okay, from from 17 upon 20 so you have to subtract this number minus 8 upon 15 from 17 upon 20 so let's do it okay so this number we will write in the beginning 17 upon 20 minus and this is already negative rational number so i will write it in a bracket okay firstly i'll solve it you know that negative and negative sabse pehle aapko yahi dhyan mein rakhna hai ki agar bracket agar use hua hai so sabse pehle agar yahan par two signs jo hai wo together hai dekho yahan par negative sign hai and the, here is also negative sign so firstly hum ise hi solve karenge isi ke saath deal karenge sabse pehle so 17 upon 20 and negative and negative it will become positive sign hai na 18 upon uh, sorry this is 8 8 upon 15 okay abhi hame similarly so, uh, solve karna hai jaise hum pehle bhi kar chuke hain uh, questions ko so jaise ki abhi hum yahan par kya lenge we will take lcm okay we will take LCM of denominators. Because denominators are same. Nahi hai, so we will have to take their LCM. So LCM of 20 and 15. Let's find the LCM of 20 and 15. So 15 and 20. Both the numbers here. This is 15 and 20. Okay. So 20 is divisible by 2. So 2 tens are. And 15 will be same. Again 2 fives are. And 15 will be same. Now this is divisible by 3. 3 5s are 15 and 5 will be same and now divisible by 5. 5 1s are 5, 5 1s are 5. Let's multiply. 2 2s are 4, 4 3s are 12 and 12 5s are 60. So its LCM is coming 60. Let me erase the LCM. So now we got that LCM is 60. So I'm going to rub it. Yes. So LCM is 60. Now what I will do? I will just solve it more. 
So similarly, 60 will be the denominator, okay? Common denominator as we will write here. So now similarly, 60 divided by 20, this denominator, you can see this one. So 60 divided by 20, how much will be there? Three, right? And then three into 17, because numerator is 17. So three into 17, we will do. That is 51, 17 threes are 51. Plus again, 60 divided by this, uh, this next denominator, 15. Okay, 15 fours are 60. Okay, and then four into eight, this numerator. So four into eight, that is 32. So 32 I will write here. Then 51, similarly now I will just add 51 plus 32 divided by 60, okay? So just give me one minute, this I'm rubbing it. So 51 plus 32 will be how much? Think it and uh, just prepare your answer. Be ready with your answer. So 51 plus 32 is 83 upon 60. Okay, so 83 and 60. Now is this divisible by any number? 83. Now look at here, is this divisible by three? So if we will add eight plus three, it is coming 11. So 11 is not divisible by three. That means we cannot cut it by three. So this will be the final answer, okay? So like this, you have to subtract the numbers, okay?